Hi, this is John from John Branch for Photography. Delegating tasks and saving valuable time is probably the number one goal on all business owners' lists, and sometimes hiring an office manager just isn't in the books. With HoneyBook's workflows, it's easy to automate tasks and emails for each of your clients. Let's go ahead and look at setting up a new inquiry workflow right after this message. With digital contracts, e-signing, online payments, and automation, HoneyBook is the perfect tool to help you quickly and confidently book more clients. Use the link in the description below for 50% off your HoneyBook subscription. To make an effective workflow, we first need to create our email templates. At the top of your browser, go to Tools, then Templates. Then on the left, choose Email. This is where we'll create our emails for our workflow. Since we're doing a new inquiry workflow, let's start with a welcome or introduction email. Choose Add Template on the left. Then in the top left corner, name your email template. Make sure to name it something that will remind you of what step it is in your workflow. For example, I like to put what type of project the email is for in my template title. So I'll name this Wedding Introduction. Then write out your email. For your email template, make sure to use the client name option to add a human touch. The last thing you want to do is make your email sound super robotic. After creating your email, follow this step and create additional emails for possible responses you'll need to your client. For example, make an email for when you send a brochure with pricing. Or make an email for if you haven't heard back from your client in a couple of days. Think of different scenarios such as these and create as many emails as you think you'll need. Next, let's set up our workflow. Click the arrow on the top left corner of the screen to exit your email templates, then choose Tools and Workflows. Choose New Workflow Template. Now we can start building our workflow. Make sure to name your workflow something that will remind you of what type of client it's for. I'm going to name this New Wedding Inquiry. When building our workflow, we have four actions we can choose from. Create a task, which will add a reminder to our project. Use this to create a to-do list for your project. You can add things like send a gift or schedule an engagement session. Send a questionnaire. This will let you send a questionnaire you've created to your client. It's great for sending a shot list questionnaire, timeline questionnaire, or asking for any additional information you might need. Send an email. This will let you send an automated email to your client. And send a brochure, which will let you send a brochure to your client. For our first step, we'll want to send an email to our new inquiry. Choose Send Email. Now that we have our first action, we can customize it. Choose which email template you want to send. We'll send our wedding introduction email. Then we'll choose when we want to send it. If choosing zero days, your action will happen the moment your workflow activates. You'll also see you can change the trigger for your action. We're going to set this email to send automatically, but keep in mind you can also have an email be approved first before sending. Let's go ahead and add additional steps. Click the plus on the left to add a new action. Let's send a questionnaire. Choose the questionnaire template, then choose the email template to go with the questionnaire. Keep in mind, you'll want to make these beforehand. Last but not least, choose when this action will happen. Let's do 20 days after the previous step is complete. Finally, let's add a couple of tasks to our workflow. When adding a task, setting the when will determine the due date of the task. Once you've added all of your steps to your workflow, click Save in the top right corner. Now that we've set up all the steps of our workflow, we can choose how we're going to automate it. There are two different routes you can take with your workflows. Either to have it automated by your contact form or to manually add it to your project. Make sure to base your workflows off of these two types of automation. For example, create a workflow set for the initial introduction emails, automated questionnaires, and welcome kits. 
then create an additional workflow for after your client books with more specific actions. This workflow can be added manually. To automate a workflow at the contact form stage, click the Not Assigned dropdown, then choose a session type. When a client fills out the form and chooses a project type, your workflow will automatically activate. Keep in mind that your contact form will need to have the project type field on it for this to work. To manually add a workflow, when you're in a project on the right, click Workflow and then choose Workflow Template. Now you're ready to make your own workflows. I hope this information helped and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more HoneyBook tutorials and information.